Hi, everyone. Do you know what I am? I am actually a bat. I'm hanging upside down in a tree right now, and I wanted to let you know that if you stay tuned to watching this video, we're going to teach you all about bats. There's a lot of really cool things about us that you may not know. So if you stay tuned for just a few more minutes, we're going to teach you all about bats, just like me. So keep watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Hey, welcome back. So glad you stayed to watch this video about me and other bats. Did you know that bats aren't actually birds? We're actually flying mammals. We're the only flying mammals in the world. And there's over 100,000 different species of bats in the world. Bats are nocturnal, so we sleep during the day and we're awake at nighttime. And our wings are actually an extension of our skin. Most of the time we feed on insects, and some bats like to eat fruit, fish, and even blood. There are only three species of bats called vampire bats. Vampire bats like blood. While much of the world sleeps, vampire bats emerge from dark caves, mines, tree hollows, and abandoned buildings in Mexico and Central South America. They glide stealthily through the night air as they search for food. Like the legendary monster from which they get their names, these small mammals drink blood of other animals for survival. Vampire bats feed on blood from cows, pigs, horses, and birds. Rather than sucking blood, vampire bats make a small cut with their teeth and then drink up the flowing blood with their tongues. These bats are so light and so agile that they're sometimes able to drink blood from that animal for more than 30 minutes without that animal waking up. The good news is, is the blood sucking does not hurt the animal. With over 1,200 different species of bats, bats make up the largest part of the mammal species in the world. We take up over one quarter of all the mammals in the entire planet. Bats eat a lot of different things. Bats that eat fruit are called flying foxes or mega bats, and that variety has large eyes. Fruit bats live in Australia, Asia, and Africa, and they consume the fruit and the fruit nectar. Like birds and butterflies, they help to pollinate the fruit trees by landing and eating the fruit or nectar. Nearly 75% of all bats eat mostly insects. Little brown bats can eat 1,000 small bugs per hour. Frugivores are bats that eat fruit, seeds, and flower pollen. Some bat species are carnivorous and eat fish and frogs. In one night feeding, Mexican free tail bats can eat up to 200 tons of insects as a group of bats. Hi, I'm another type of bat. Bet you didn't think I was a bat when you first saw me, did you? <laughs> well, that's because bats come in many sizes. The biggest bat in the world is the Malayan flying fox. That bat has a six foot wingspan and can weigh up to two pounds. The smallest bat is very tiny. The kitty's hognose bat or bumblebee bat is about the size of a dime and its wingspan is only six inches. Most bats eat insects and they play a big part in keeping the insect's population down. A bat can eat as many as 2,000 to 6,000 insects per night. Imagine what the world would look like if they didn't eat all of those bugs. We'd be overrun with the bugs. Bats use something called echolocation in the air the same way that dolphins and whales use it underwater in the ocean. They send out a noise and then wait for the sound waves, the echo or bounce back, once it has hit an object. If nothing bounces back, it shows them it is safe to keep flying forward. Using the echolocation, they can also tell how far away something is 
by the speed that the sound waves return back to them. Hello, I'm another type of bat, and I want to show you some of the different myths to help you maybe be not so afraid of bats. Now, when we talk about bats, often people get scared or don't like us. But these are the myths that we'll try to bust, which might make you feel differently about bats. Bats are definitely not blind. In fact, we see very, very well. Bats that eat insects depend on a lot of sound, and they get super awesome hearing skills to find food in the dark. Remember, Bats are nocturnal, which means that we come out at night. I guess you really can't say you're as blind as a bat anymore. Bats also don't get tangled up in your hair. They're far too smart for that. Some people often think that you can get sick from bats and that they carry rabies. But actually, bats are in fact very clean and just like cats, we groom ourselves very, very well. Bats can get rabies, but so can all mammals. But they hardly ever do. Just don't touch a bat, and you'll be fine and dandy. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you learned some really neat stuff about bats. We're actually very, very nice, and we help out the world by eating a lot of the insects so you don't have to worry about it. So the next time that you see a bunch of mosquitoes, and if you see a bat flying around, know that we're gonna fly around and try to eat them so they don't bite you. So if you like this video, make sure you click the subscribe button and smash that thumbs up button and let us know that you liked it. And also don't forget to comment below about what videos you might like to see Dot Dot Toys do in the future. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.